definition. This is CBS 2 News at 5. Now at 5.30, a jittery day in Redlands still shaken after a swarm of earthquakes. They're a fact of life in Southern California, but one we never get used to, earthquakes. Welcome back to CBS 2 at 5. I'm Laura Diaz. And I'm Paul Majors. And most of the tremors that hit the Redlands area were too small to notice today, but there were a couple that got everyone's attention. Greg Mills of CBS 2's Inland Empire Bureau is in Redlands. I thought it was a car accident, to be honest with you. And I came outside and looked, and I found out later it was an earthquake. That was the earthquake that really got Redlands rolling. A 4.1 magnitude quake last Saturday. Since then, lots more. Look at this U.S. Geological Survey list. Today, between midnight and 3 p.m., 21 earthquakes in Redlands. All this ground movement in Redlands is really shaking up this resident. I'm uh, living from here, but I'm thinking about moving to some other place. They're keeping an eye on this place from Pasadena. Eric Pounders, a geologist with the USGS, says they're paying close attention to this swarm of earthquakes that have hit Redlands this week. Not sure which fault is at fault. He says the San Jacinto Fault is closest. All Redlands residents know is they're getting hit awfully hard. The glass was rattling in the showcases, and we had our chandelier shaking. She says that was just before lunchtime today, and that turned out to be the most active time here. Four earthquakes registering 3.3 or better within half an hour. The strongest earthquakes of the day hit just before noon when folks were watching the early show here at the movie theater. A 3.6 hit, that was okay. But one minute later, a 3.3, and the manager here says about 14 or 15 people got up and left. Downtown Redlands at Dave Hayes Camp store. Lots of expensive glass and crystal. Nothing broke here. Nothing broke. Nothing you amazed? Broke. Uh, it wasn't that bad of one. You know, we've been through lots of these. These buildings downtown were built in the 1880s, according to the tenants, so they've endured lots of these. No surprise that nothing broke at the jewelry store. But according to Eric Pounders with the USGS, these moderate earthquakes are going to continue to rock Redlands for some time. How long? Who knows? As long as it's not a precursor to a really big one, <laughs> I can live with it. In Redlands, Greg Mills, KCAL 9 News.